What's up everybody? Nolan of Black Diamond Services. Adam and I are out doing a church. Just the sanctuary and the little foyer and the little control area for the, the microphones. This was actually referred to us by another company um, that couldn't get out here in, I guess in a timely manner or something. Somebody that we met in a business class like two and a half, three years ago. So thank you to you guys for referring us to get this taken care of. If for some reason you see this, I appreciate it. So this carpet hasn't been cleaned for a while. It's kind of hard to tell because it's a darker color, but you can see clean there and just pre-treated here. So we were actually expecting uh, the pews to be on one side here. We clean half and then they were gonna have um, a few people here to move all of them to the other side. Then we we're gonna styrofoam block them because they're wood and then do the other side. But we showed up and they had everything out. The only thing that's left is the piano, which is very understandable. So, totally unexpected. So that probably cut at least an hour, hour and a half. I, I would just assume at least an hour off of the job. If you consider the time moving everything over, putting blocks under it, retreating the other side of the carpet, and then starting to rinse. So that made a big difference. But because it hasn't been cleaned in a while, um, I can't remember how long he said it's been. It's been multiple years. Um, so a lot of times when I clean for somebody for the first time, especially commercial, if it's been a while, I always start out with hot water extraction. And then if they decide to do some maintenance cleaning to you know keep it up say um you know three to six months later uh, there's a lot of times you can come in and do vlm and it will do a great job adam and i did it a while back uh, we have a video of this uh three three level um assisted living place and they had us do the third and second level because they were replacing the first level. And we did the BLM on it and it did a fantastic job. Even though it was fairly soiled, it did a great job. Um, used a lot of pads, made sure I was switching them out as often as needed. And in capped that whole place and it did great. And I chose that because, well, it was probably gonna be about 400, 450 feet of uh, vacuum line and you know by the time we set all that up and get going we could probably probably have one of the hallways done almost by doing VLM it just made more logical sense but yeah if these guys have us come back and maybe um, do this again whether they move everything out or not you know I might consider VLM but you can kind of see where he stopped and where he's at. It's cleaning up really well, considering the age of it. So we're using uh, we're using a pre-spray with a 12 pH, actually from TMF Frog Nasty. Just because it's been a while, I wanted to use something with a little more kick. And then uh, we're rinsing it out with Formula 99 which is an alkaline rinse. That way we have some extra cutting power. And then uh, we're using the 12 flow wand, which means each jet is three flow and there's four jets, so 12 total. So a little bit more is coming out compared to the usual wand that I'm using. So our passes can be sped up just a little bit. But in some areas we're still going the same speed because of the soil level. So I wanted a little more eye, uh, output. Actually Adam grabbed it out. Um, but after starting with it, I 
it was a good choice to use the 12 flow instead of the eight. So we have a little bit more output to get working on the soils here. And then do dry passes afterwards to overlap it. Cause with this carpet and Berber carpet, you can end up with uh, streaks if you don't overlap your passes and, and dries. And then once it dries out, those streaks will be there and be noticeable. So that's why we're doing it this way. So I did this up top section and then the kind of bottom half here around the sides. And then we're switching off because, uh, and this was the suggestion by the, uh, the pastor here that make sure our stuff is locked because we're not in the the safest of areas. So Adam's with me so I can periodically check on the van because uh, it's so loud, obviously we can't hear it. Um, so he was doing that and then now I'm, I'm checking on it every once in a while. But I really appreciate this church for having us uh, and giving us the work. I don't know if they got any other bids, but he responded pretty quickly within a day or so of accepting it. And then got it scheduled the very next week. All right, so we got like 200 square feet of carpet in here. And then just this small entry. I actually just cut Adam down to one hose um, as he get back further on any job really a good way to increase your vacuum when you have to use more than one 50 foot line of hose is to drop off the one that you don't need anymore so you can see we're running the boss filter with two two inch hoses to the machine and then two inch hose off of the machine all the way up and then we do have a one and a half at the front here um, because it's commercial carpet it's not a big loss in suction. And then like I said, once we got to the point where we didn't need a second 50 foot line, we dropped it off. So we maximize our suction power for what we're doing here. So this will dry just fine, big open room, no problems. Never have problems. The skinnier line, really what it does is like, some people call it a cheater hose. It does make it a little bit easier. But if you're doing like thicker plush carpet, it can be a little helpful. But if you wanna maximize your suction completely, then get rid of it and just use the full two inch hose right to the wand. Cause this wand is made for two inch hose, you know, connection. So it's a one and a half with a, a two inch uh, coupler on the end that'll really give you the full on max power of your machine so if you're actually running a, a smaller unit less cfms in lift i would actually advise doing that running the two inch hose because you don't want to have any anything constricting you down but we are running up to 20 inch lift and 600 cfm with this uh, Profire machine, TMF Profire from Steam Action. And ever since having it, I don't think I'll get anything different besides Steam Action, just because it's been a great machine. If it weren't for having to watch the man and stuff like that, Adam and I would dual wand this and would have been done probably 45 minutes ago. But. They had this really set up for us. Like I said, they had all the pews out, everything out. They vacuumed everything for us because it's a commercial job. It doesn't take much for vacuuming commercial carpet. So we were just able to come in, pre-treat half of it, rinse it out. Then we pre-treated the other section, start rinsing it out, just super easy. Water's pretty brown. 
So this carpet just kind of hides it pretty well, but I mean, you can see where he's left off. So it's doing really well. I wish we had a lot more jobs like this because when you team up with somebody, things go way faster and smoother and you get through stuff quicker because you got somebody that's pre-spraying, you got another person setting up, or if it's residential, you got somebody vacuuming while the other person's mixing the pre-spray. Then you start pre-spraying, they come in and CRB right after you. When we work on residentials together, it goes way faster. A lot of times, like say, for example, if I have a $1,000 job, that normally would take me like five, six hours, it easily cuts it down to like two and a half, maybe three, depending on what it is and how dirty it is. So it's, it's quite awesome when you're able to work together. One day we'll get there. Hopefully we'll have a van that's dedicated to bigger jobs and can run two people at all times in that one van. So that's one thing to think about 